Good morning students. I am Shalu Chauhan, your maths teacher from Winner Small Wonder Secondary School. In the last class, I taught you how to write number names using Indian number system. Then we studied importance of using commas. And after that, I told you some rules to put commas in any large number. I didn't did not give give you any homework in the last class, but I told you to go through that video once again so that you could understand the topics clearly and avoid any confusion. I hope all of you have followed my instructions properly, right? It was all about the last class. Let us begin our today's class. In today's class, first we will go through Indian number system once again to solve further exercises. Right? Here is the Indian number system under which I have placed the place value chart. Now go through the place value chart once again. Right? First we have once. Then we have tens. After tens, what we have? Hundreds. And all three comes under units period. Right? After units period, we have thousands period. Then we have lakhs period. And then crores period. Right? This is what we studied in the last class. With the help of this place value chart, we are going to write the number names. Right? Now, here you can see exercise number 7. Okay? Which is based on number names. Now, read the questions, question first. What is written? Write the number names of the following. You have to write the number names of the following numbers. Now, what is the first number? First number is 24056. For your help, I have put here place value chart with every number. When you will do this, this exercise, you have to put the place value chart with every number to make it easy for you to write the number names. Okay, let's start with the first example. Look at the first example. In first example, first you can see 24 is written under thousands period. So, we will start with 24,000. Next, under 100, 100, uh, 100 section, we don't have anything. We just have 0. So, skip that. Moving to the next, in tens, we have 5. And in ones, we have 6. So, we will write 56. Correct? So, what is the number name? The number name is 24,056. Understood students? Moving on to the next example. Next is 4009. Starting from the left. What is written here? 4. 4 is written under 10,000. So, we will read 1000 also. So, what we have in 1000 section? We have 40. How many thousands we have? We have 40,000. So, I will write 40,000 here. Next, under 100, we have 0. Under 10s, we have 0. So, we will skip it. After that, under 1s, what is written? 9. So, 
I'll write only 9. What is the number name for this? Answer is 40,009. Got it? Next. Next we have, oh, we have all 9s. Right? So, starting from the thousands period. Under thousands period, what is written? 9999. So, how many thousands we have? We have 99,000. Then, how many hundred? 900. Then, under 10 section and 1 section, what is written? 99. So, the number names become 99,999. Easy students. Next. Next we have 80511. Again starting from the thousands period. And the thousands period what is written? 8080. So how many thousands we have? 80,000. And the hundred section 5. So we have 500. Under tens, one and under ones also one. So one, one, eleven. Right? So what is the answer now? Eighty thousand five hundred and eleven. Next, this is the last example. Last example is six, seven, seven, two, five. Starting from the left. Under thousands period, what we have? We have 67. So how many thousands we have? 67 thousands. Right? Next is under hundred section, we have 7. So 700. Then lastly, we have 25. So <coughs> what will be the Number name for this? 67,725. Understood students? I know it was very easy. Okay. Now, moving on to the homework exercise. This was the practice exercise we did in class. Now, I am giving you homework exercise. In homework exercise also, I have attached the place value chart for you to make it easy for you to do the answers. So refer that place value chart and write the number names of the given numbers. Right? I know you all can do it very nicely. Right? Moving on to the next. What we have? Exercise number 9. Now, here we studied how to write number names of the given numbers. Now we are going to do the reverse of it. What does reverse means? Now you are given number names and you have to write the numerals of that number names. Right? So, this is the exercise number 9. First read the question. The question is write the numerals for the following names. Right? Now first you are giving the names and then you have to write the numerals. Again for writing the numerals we need place value chart. Place value chart is very important students. So you will not have to skip that. Always use place value chart to write the number names or the numerals. Right? Now, moving on to the first example. First example is written. What is the name, name written? 1600. Now, with the help of place value chart, we will answer this question. So, what is written first? First, it is written 1000. 
So, under thousands period, we will write 1. Then, what is written? 600. So, under 100 section, I will write 6 here. And, no information is given about the tens and ones. So, we will put 0 in the other sections. Right? Now, what is the answer? 1600. Got it students? Moving on to the next name. Next name is 5042. Right? So, how many thousands we have? We have 5000. So, under 1000 section, I will write 5 only. Then, what is written? 42. So, under tens and ones section, I will write 42. No information is given about hundreds and other. So, I will put 0 in the other sections. Right? Now, what will be the answer? 504. Right students? Next. Next is 7986. Right? Now, how many thousands we have? We have 7000. So, under thousand section, I will write 7. Next is 900. Under 900, what will I have? I have 900. So, I will write 9 under 100 section. Right? Next. Next is 86. In 86, I will write 8, 6 under 10s and 1 section. So, what will I get? I get the answer 7, 9, 8, 6. Right? Next example. Next example is 80,930. Now, how many thousands I have? We have 80,000. So, under 1000 section, I will write 8080. Then, how many hundreds I have? 9 hundreds. So, under 100 section, I will write 9. Then, and 30. So, under 10s and 1 section, I will write 3030. So, what the number becomes? The number is 80930. Got it students? Then this is the last example. Last example is 97480. Now, again how many thousands we have? We have 97000. So, under thousands period, I will write 9797. Then, how many hundreds we have? 400. So, under 100 section, I will write 4. Then, last is 80. 8080. So, under tens and ones, I will write 8080. Right? So, what will be the number? The number is 97480. Understood students? This was the practice exercise. Right? I hope you all understand the both practice exercises. And today I am giving you two exercises for homework. Exercise 10 is also for the homework. 
For this you have to write numerals. You have given the number names and you have to write the numbers. But with the help of place value chart. Use the proper method. Then only you would be able to write the correct answers. Okay students. So keep practicing to become good in maths. Thank you.